Hey y'all, happy Friday. Love these eye patches. First of all, I love how big they are. Like, they cover your whole entire under eye and then some. I love that. It's the Shiseido. That's what the pack looks like. The retinol, it really, like, does a great job at, like, smoothing out your under eyes. I'll show you all when I take them off. Once I'm finished with the eye patches, we are going to head out. My nails, like, this is actually ridiculous. Y'all know I just get my real nails painted. Although, I think I am going to get some acrylic because I miss my, I miss my white tips. Like, I really, really do. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll get, like, an overlay. Let me show you all, like, what I'm going for. This is what I'm going for. I love this. Like, I love, first of all, I love me a thin white. Like, barely put white on, please. I love that. And then I love the base color. Obviously, her hands are lighter than mine. So, I'm going to get a base color that suits me well. But, this is my inspo. I have, like, three nail salons that I go to. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to go to. They all pretty much can do a good job, but I'm thinking about Publix. Not sure if y'all can see a difference with my under eyes, but I can. I love those eye patches. They look so good. And now we're about to head out to the nose line. Here's my outfit. I just have on this Skims top this little Fendi bag and I have on these pants that I got so long ago to give pajamas but they're not pajamas and my new shoes that I was so excited to wear like I love these yeah that's the outfit she said she cool she from East Atlanta Casamigos we made it to the nail salon I don't know why I'm looking at these I know I'm not getting out of this. Guys, these nails are hideous. Like, look. I know what you're probably thinking. Why the hell would you walk out? Like, this is not what I wanted. This is the good hand, by the way. Like, you guys can barely see, but my... No, 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 no. Look at this one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look at, oh, look at the thumb. No, look at all of the white polish. <sighs> oh yeah, we'll be going back to the nails. Like guys, are you kidding me? What it? What is this? need to call my niece back because I wasn't able to give her the energy I wanted to. Because one, I was preoccupied in the nail salon. And two, that man was upsetting me with my nails. Like, I had already asked him to correct a few things. So, by the time he got to the polish, I was just like, no. My niece called me because she wanted me to, you know, y'all know she's going to ninth grade. Their school starts on Wednesday. And she wanted to show me her schedule. It's like this is her first time having like A day, B day. And you know all the things. She's just like super excited. Ninth grade is a big deal. So I'll call her back once I'm home and I'm situated. Okay. Get it to the next nail salon. I absolutely hate going to the nail salon. So two in one day is extreme. But I have somewhere to be tomorrow, and I am not going with my nails like this. Like, I will bite my fingers off before I go somewhere with my nails like this. So, let's go. Here are the new nails. They look good. Like, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, so, yeah, I'm at Home Goods. I found some stuff that I'm going to purchase. I love these canisters. They're kind of heavy. I love these canisters. I love the color. They had clear, but I think I want to go with this burnt orangey brown color. I may put like my coffee pots in one, you know, just to switch it up for the season. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. I got my boy toy because he loves toys. He loves stuff like this. He's going to have a blast with that. And then how cute are those plates? I love this. This is so cute. And I think $5.99. Yeah, $5.99.
I actually look insane. It's like 10 o'clock at night and I should be taking a shower and going to bed. But instead, I want to organize my where I keep my jewelry at. It looks a mess and if I wear jewelry like something every day whether it's earrings or rings something and when I go through this every day I'm just so frustrated because I can never find what I'm looking for so we're going to organize it together brace yourself <laughs> it's just a bunch of accessories and different things some that don't even belong in here like why is there a foot scraper in here this has never been used or has it I, I don't know but like, why are you in here? But we're gonna get this together right now. Oh, it's so bad. Like, let's get it together. I'm gonna try not to take everything out because I just don't feel like doing that. So we're gonna try to maneuver. I don't know, I don't know what my plan is, but this is gonna be organized. everything but this is most of it who knew i had so many like heart shaped earrings um let me sh tell y'all how i organized everything so this is like my chunky earrings these are like some smaller earrings um these are some necklaces these big old freaking bracelets these are some rings you know earrings i don't know what other one at these are some watches. The only watch I actually wear is this one, the silver and gold one. I wear this one like anytime I wear a watch. Um, I gotta find an earring. I don't know where it's at. These are some like statement earrings, if you will. And then over here is my brooch, another brooch, some bracelets, some little earrings that I'm missing some of, some more earrings yeah this is what it looks like oh my bamboo earrings with my name in it i haven't worn these in years and i don't even know when i'm gonna wear these but i just feel like you never know when you're gonna be invited to like a 90s party and you're gonna need your bamboo earrings with your name in it <laughs> so yeah this looks really good as you can see for the most part i am a gold girl it's some stuff on the floor that i still have to go through and untangle it's mostly just like it's mostly just necklaces that's tangled up which it's nowhere for them to go anyway so we're gonna have to figure that out but I'm very happy I'm very happy with how this turned out hopefully it closes well and it does look at this dog like just imagine actually being that sleep and I think I told y'all this before, but nine times out of ten, Sebastian is sleep with his eyes wide open. <laughs> it's weird. Like, it looked like they might be open right now. Let me see if I can. I think they open. Like, <laughs> sir. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I have to hurry up. So today at 10 p.m. No, 10 a.m. <laughs> I'm going. Is this angle good? I feel like it's kind of low. Let's sit y'all on this. Yeah, I done made a tripod. It's a little bit better. But at 10 a.m., me and Kelsey are going to this. I don't know. It's like a content creation tip slash Pilates. Pilates 
workout thing. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick to show y'all. I seen it on TikTok and I sent it to her to see if she wanted to go. And we both just decided to go. So we want you to be there. Okay, hold on. I got a bag for my new boots credit for us. Oh, single Pilates class, August 3rd. Mm -hmm. We want you to be there. Mm -hmm. Tickets are $55. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in Atlanta. Matcha. 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 I'm just like, when I see stuff like that happening in Atlanta, it's a great opportunity for me to just get out, maybe meet new people, socialize. So yeah, we're going to go. I'm excited. I already have my outfit on. This is the one I got from Girlfriend Collective. This is my first time trying on, and it got me snatched. Love, I love stuff that's cut like this. Like I like my shoulders to be out and it to like go up like that. I think that's so flattering. I do want to do a quick little one-two on the face. So I need to hurry up in my hair um yeah we gotta fix that so we got 30 minutes before we gotta leave out this house so let's go i told him what was going on that way you know when he looked in my eye he can just make sure everything is okay with my corner hair. i'm totally healed now and head to this eyelash appointment um i just got out the shower not too long ago i got home walked luna and then took a shower so i'm just chilling with my face mask on after my appointment, I stopped at Publix. That way I could pick up some broccoli for Rex because I totally forgot to get broccoli in my um, grocery order this afternoon. And tonight I'm making chicken alfredo, so I needed some broccoli. That's what I do for a face mask. Top to bottom is during the Sephora sale. So even though like I wasn't even out, I just went ahead and got another pack because swear by those. And then that's my, my kind of what I like to call it because it definitely like helps with texture and stuff like that and then it's a deep cleanse for the week so oh got in my nose um while my concealer is sitting we're gonna put our lotion on I don't know what type of shoes I should wear. I'm thinking just like some regular shoes. No need to wear like no tennis shoes or anything, right? <clears throat> this is my scent of the day. I haven't worn this in a minute because look how much it's gone. This was like in the first two weeks. Like, I love this stuff. So feminine, so girly, so fresh. Mmm. Real quick. I have eight minutes before I gotta be at the house. I really shouldn't even be talking to y'all right now because I left my freaking batteries at the house and I'm on this freaking Sony ZV-1 and this battery go dead so quick. But I just wanted to let y'all know that I am on the way. Um, I'm rushing. I hate rushing. Like, I hate rushing. I hate being late. I hate rushing. Um, but yeah, I'm on the way. My freaking lashes got some makeup in it and I wasn't able to brush them and that's bothering me because like when if you do your makeup you know it's so hard to not get makeup in your lashes but I'll usually you know get the makeup out but I forgot so yeah um, but I'm annoyed and I'm excited so I'm gonna save my battery for the actual event we're here guys I'm very excited it's a bunch of girls that I don't know which is super exciting so that's the opportunity to like meet new people Kelsey's here hey guys what's your YouTube uh, my YouTube is Kel Cole so K-E-L-K-O-L Start off 
lot of creative content, especially for business owners and service providers and product owners in the room. Um, but I really wanted to talk about creativity and content mindset, especially because I know that content can be a thing for a lot of audiences um, of the DMs, even if it's the same people that show up all the time. Um, how can I then create gratitude for those people and for the fact that they are continuously buying the thing or they are continuously commenting? Yes, they might be the only person, but they're the first person every time, right? And so I think for all of us in the room, we have to you know, listen to this song and think about how we close our eyes. We're back home. Oh my god, content ended up getting cut short because y'all went dead. Um, but I had a really good day. I'm so glad that I went to that event. Um, we just had a good time. Like half of it was just talking about like social media and just having a conversation surrounding social media, and then the other half was actually doing Pilates. Matt Pilates, I think I can get with that. I think I can get with that. Um my balance for a reformer i really don't know about that but matte pilates i think i can that's something i can get behind so i'm definitely looking forward to trying out more matte pilates um and yeah I'm, I'm just i feel good i feel really really good that i got out and i did something on a saturday something different something out of my comfort zone mingled with some people like i just feel really really good so i'm happy about that i'm about to take this makeup off because yeah no we're basically in the house for the rest of the day i got some house stuff i need to do i'm getting my hair done on monday so i need to dye my hair jet black i need to not start packing we may pack in the next vlog i really don't know but i need to like try to figure out what we're going to be taking to new york and uh, ups closes at 5 30 it's 3 45 right now my niece is and if you start school on Wednesday and I still have some things I need to get to them. I want to try to take it today, but I'm trying to think worst case scenario. I'll have to take it on Monday and pay for overnight shipping. That's absolute worst case scenario. Um, But I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get it to them today. I'm going to try to make it because I think all the post offices, at least the ones that's by me, are pretty much closed. I didn't realize that they closed early on Saturday, but they do. So, yeah. Take this makeup off. But I had a really good time. Um, I had a really good time. I'm doing something different. It was nice. <sighs> a 
what did y'all do today? Like, how did y'all spend y'all Saturday? Y'all gonna see this on Sunday, so let me know what y'all did. And I'm going to church tomorrow. Me and Kelsey are going to go to church together, which I'm very excited about. Let me find me something to watch. I'm not really in a talking mood. I kind of just want to watch something. So I'm going to pull me up a little bit. Excuse me. This is exactly what I want to watch. Period. I'll be back. I'm coming. Uh, this vlog, I've put the C and crusty, honey. I look a mess. It's all good because I'm getting my hair done soon. And that is going to unlock a new character. Okay. I want to put a face mask on real quick. I'm just going to put this one on because it's right here. This is a super clay purifying clear power mask. Ew, I don't even want to be on camera. I'm just... My skin needs a refresh, for real. She been getting compliments. People been telling us we looking good. And now she wanna show out. Just like these niggas. As soon as you save a man number, he started to act up. My skin doing. I'm trying to hurry up and put this on because I told Dion I was coming like 10 minutes ago. We going to the rooftop. I don't like why I'm just chilling up there. Oh, since we're just gonna be chilling, I might as well put a face mask on, even though he's about to leave the house, y'all. He about to go watch a freaking boxing game that starts at 11 o'clock. Like, who does that? Who leaves the love of their life to go watch boxing? No, I'm just playing. I could actually care less because I fell asleep earlier, which that was a great nap. I fell asleep earlier reading my book. <laughs> you would think the book is boring, but I was tired. After that class and walking around and everything I did, I needed a little nap, so yeah. So while he's gone, I'm just gonna be reading my book. Just gonna be reading my book. Okay. This isn't the best application, but it is what it is. So oh, Dean just told Rory that he loved her. It's their three month anniversary. And he's basically mad because she didn't say it back. I feel like I don't like that because you said it because you expected to hear it back or you said it because you actually meant it. I don't think he meant for his intentions to come off the way they did, but to me, it's just kind of like, if you tell me you love me, then you love me. We're three months in. If I'm not completely there yet, then I feel like you should understand that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I mean, saying I love you means a I know. I'm just confused. I need to. If you're ever gonna run, I will follow anywhere. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to tell y'all yesterday. I'm going to church today. I wake up feeling so sick. Like. My stomach hurt, I feel nauseous. I just feel like I wanna lay in the bed all day. But we're gonna push through. It's 10.02, church starts at 11. I really like that church because they have so many services. So say for instance, if I didn't wanna go to church today because I felt sick or whatever, I can go to a later service. So they have church service at 9, 11, 1, or 5 p.m. So a little bit of something for everybody. Personally, I would look like ideally 9 a.m. would be the perfect service just to get it out the way. Not to say it like that, but you know, to just be able to 
come on cook or do whatever you want um but i want to go to the 11 because i really want to walk the belt line today i want to take sebastian out there i guess it's just gonna depend on how i'm feeling but that's what i would like to do so yeah that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do i'm about to wash my face and just do some skincare then i'm gonna fix my hair i'm not gonna wear no makeup because i'm just not in the mood at all Happy Sunday. You guys will be seeing this vlog probably maybe like 5 or 6 o'clock, honestly, because I'm just moving a little slow today and I need a little bit more footage, so I'll take y'all with me today um, to make the vlog a little longer because, girl, I played. I, I don't know. I don't know what I didn't do, but we don't have no footage. This angle is crazy, but... I'm leaning towards just like putting a dress on. Um, this dress is kind of wrinkled. Eat with the cardigan. I'm all up in your face. But I got like this white cardigan that has hair all over it. Like, what's going on with my clothes? So yeah, green dress and a white cardigan. Green dress and a white cardigan. Green dress and a white cardigan. <laughs> Let's hurry up and put these clothes on, spray some perfume, fix our hair, so we can go downstairs and make some coffee. For my hair, I'm gonna put on a fresh new white headband because girl, I get my hair done tomorrow, so I don't even have the energy to fry this leave out anymore. Put this on. There we go. I'm gonna brush this hair out. I don't know where a brush at, so I'm using my blow dryer thing. This little thing right here was the best thing I ever purchased from Shein. It's full of earring bags. And if you know me, I lose my earring bags so much. So just having a big old pack of earring bags has been a lifesaver. Different sizes. You got the silver, gold, plastic. And it was probably like $2. Cute. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. the day is going to be missing person by Fleur. Speaking of Fleur, I want to smell heavy cream, which just came out. I want to smell what is it called? Soft spot. I want to smell soft spot so bad because they said soft spot is like missing person, missing person's bigger, sexier sister. So I'm gonna see what that's giving, and I'm almost out of this. Mmm. This just made me happy. I haven't sprayed this in so long. It's so good, y'all. To me, I know a lot of people like freaking bottle. Like, if you just want to try it out, you can always just like go to Sephora and smell it, or you could just order the small 30 ounce one or the travel one. That's what I started off with. I used it all and I needed more. Thank you. 
<laughs> Let's try it. I don't think it's gonna be too too sweet because I didn't put my honey and I usually do my sugar free my sugar free vanilla with my honey. Mmm. It's actually really good. Mm. And I just put it in a to-go cup because I'm about to go. I want to show y'all this latte I want to make. I'll probably make it maybe tomorrow. We'll see. And since I'm wearing white, I pulled out this bag because I never carry it. And I just had to have it last summer. Like, it's like, I need this bag. I need this bag. What is this app? So they call them collections. Look at this. I want to make this. Like yum. And I have some blueberries in my refrigerator I need to use. So I'll probably try to make that tomorrow. But it's 1040. So let's head out. Alrighty, guys, we have made it to church. I got on these freaking flats that are too big for me. But I will see y'all once we. Oh my gosh, somebody just put them next to me. Once we get out, and I'll tell y'all what the word was about. I'm so excited. I need to like down my coffee real quick. Just sat in this car, and I gave you all the whole spiel about what the sermon was about today in church. My camera overheated. When I turned it back on, everything was deleted. Mm. I feel so defeated right now because when I tell you it was so good, it was so good. But we're still going to talk about it. We're still going to talk about it because the devil will not win. Because I, I, apparently someone needs to hear this. So the word was about being obedient. And I feel like I'm being obedient right now because... My flesh telling me I'm outside of Kroger to go in this store and get what I need and go home because that's the mood I'm in because I'm a little annoyed. But we're going to go back over it because I just truly feel like somebody needs to hear this because I needed to hear it. And I didn't even realize I needed to hear it. So I started off saying like, you know how like if you haven't been to church in a long time and when you finally go to church, you kind of go to church with like a heavy heart and you feel like, like, Lord, I need this word to be for me. I didn't really feel like that this morning. I felt like I was in a really good spot, a really good place with Christ. I felt like on my journey, like I feel like I'm doing really good, like really good. But when I got to church today and she started talking about obedience, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, this is something I truly need to work on because when God places something on my heart, there's always a rebuttal from me. I'm like, you want me to do that? why me let me run it by this person that person this person and it's just like i feel like god knows all i don't feel like that i know that god knows all jesus he knows who we are what we're capable of he knows all the things so if jesus if god places something on your heart he knows that you can handle it he knows what you're capable of recently god placed this idea in my heart and if i can just be honest and vulnerable with you all when he gave me this idea automatically i thought it was a great idea because it's something that i love to do and i felt like it would be great but right after that i was met with feeling like i wasn't qualified enough like i wasn't worthy enough like i would be judged and criticized and i let those thoughts really dwell in me and get to me and i just i don't know hearing that word today made me realize that one God knows us. He knows us better than anybody on this earth. Like, God knows us. So, if God gave you something and if God placed something on your heart for you to do, then you're capable. You're more than capable to get it done because God isn't going to... God isn't going to give you something. God isn't going to place something on your heart that you're incapable of one thing i know is god will never put more on you than you can bear so if he gave it to you if he put you in it or there's a situation or whatever you can bear it it may seem hard it may seem difficult it may seem like you'll never get out of it 
but God got you and you can handle it. And that just really like resonated with me. This whole word of just being like obedient. Let's do a quick, quick, quick grocery haul. Yeso. I used to say Yeso, but it's Y-A-S-S-O. -S so Yeso. They were buy one, get one free. I told y'all about these poppables. I really like this. I really like these. This is the sea salt caramel poppables. And this is the vanilla bean. I also purchased this Minimate Zero Sugar Pineapple Juice. We got some milk. This is something I seen going viral on TikTok. And I wasn't like actively looking for it. But if I went into like Publix, I would go down the coffee and tea out to see if they had it. But it wasn't like I was hitting up every store to find it. Yeah, I like more than that. Um, but Kroger had it, and I'm very happy and excited to try it. It's the Nescafe Go Espresso Intense. If you tried this and you've seen it on TikTok a little more, let me know um, what's your thoughts. I got this big thing of strawberries because I'm just like craving strawberries right now. Got some peppers. Didn't have a family pack of thighs, so I got two packs. They have four um in them so eight in total this should be enough for us to eat tonight Deanna to take the work and then maybe like lunch tomorrow as well do all yeah so bars will buy one get one free now they didn't have the best flavors left so i haven't had any of these these this is the vanilla bean ice cream sandwich and i love me a good ice cream sandwich so i'm actually pretty excited to try this and this is fudge brownie chicken broth for the chicken I roses on sale for 6.90 something two yellow bunches for the living room just to add some color we're living in the last days of summer um so yeah little little, little last color I don't know but for me personally when it comes to like flowers I'm more of a flower girl in spring and summer when it gets colder, I'm not really like a flower girl. I like a traditional like red rose in the fall and winter time. But spring, summer, that's when I play with colors, different flowers. Woo -woo -woo. Then I got these pink ones for the bedroom. And then a cabbage, because I told y'all we're going to do cabbage. I'm going to try this. I purchased, what you send on TikTok? I purchased these flavored waters. And then last but not least, y'all, I found this book when I was checking out and I'm like. You ready? It's supposed to break the stem out. I think you did it. What the fuck? I think you did it. Oh wait, you did it a little bit. I seen it on TikTok, you did it. So now you just cut it? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. When I was checking out, I seen this book. Did I need it? This magazine. I didn't need it, but I got it because, yeah. It's the Ultimate Guide, Gilmore Girls. Guys, this picture of them, like, are you kidding me? I love that. And it just has, like, trivia questions, all different types of stuff. I'm not going to, like, indulge in this now because I don't want any spoiler alerts. But I'm so excited. I am just so excited. Like, I... I'm so excited. <laughs> I love that I discovered this show because it just gives me something to look forward to and something to obsess over because I don't know. I felt many. I felt like life is kind of boring. I wasn't watching it on TV. I wasn't reading no books. I wasn't doing nothing. Now I got a show that I love. I'm reading a book that's really interesting. I just got things to look forward to. I'm happy about fall coming. Like I'm just, I'm just happy. So yeah, that's what's going on. I'm about to put this stuff up. Dion's going to clean the chicken. I'm going to bake the chicken. I'm going to get out of these clothes. And uh, yeah, this will possibly, probably be the end of the vlog because I also need to get this vlog up. Yeah.